Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Wow, I almost forgot what the name of it was. <laughs> and uh, we are on a new server that we were told about by one of our viewers, uh, Tamar, and we are checking it out, just seeing what it is. And as if you guys watched the first video, you know we had a little bit of problem trying to find a place to build. And uh, basically we found this spot. We're going to build a tree house up here, and this is going to be our little patio, a nice glass uh, bridge that goes over the water so we have a nice view underneath it and our house will be up here somewhere now we are going to plant more trees down as you can already see we, we have done that and I should put some torches over here to to make sure that they grow at all times in fact I can't put one down let's put one right over here put one right there and one right there and that should help them grow a little bit at the very least it will help us find our spot when we come back but this is going to be our house we're going to have it up here in the trees i've always liked that wow there's a lot of cows and stuff over here this might be somebody's oh, house oh man look at the sunrise brother. look at that mm, nice and square we are going to there's somebody living everywhere i mean we're, we're like yeah this is crazy man i mean the server may actually be overpopulated for us I don't think it is. I think we just have to find our place in it and realize what what's going on. So I'm oh. going to come down here. I'm going to put some lights down because these guys spawn pretty often. Let's kill this guy before he blows us up. And he did do some of my work for me. He went ahead and uh, expanded the the path down there. And I'm just putting lights down everywhere. This was basically a coal mine for me. There was tons and tons of coal when I first came down here. And that's what I've been uh, harvesting lately. But... I'm just going to explore it and see if I can find some decent resources. Maybe, uh... Oh, what is that? Oh, yeah, we don't want that guy. Dang it. He killed me. Uh, I, oh, I stared too man. long. <laughs> I, yeah, I stared too long at him. Uh, let's go ahead and TPA back to uh, BLs. And that's why you put torches down, so those creatures do not spawn, so... We will just have go. to head back over there. Where are we at now? Oh. Here we go. Right over here. Nice. Okay, I'm going to go down and collect more food and more... I got lots of wood. I'm gonna actually going to put some wood up. What else do you think we need, sir? Um, uh, that's pretty pretty good for now. I mean, just keep getting more more wood and more food. All right, yeah. We need more, we, we need more food. That's one of the things we do need. Go ahead and kill these guys off. These guys spawn so often on this server. I don't know if uh, they've increased the rate or not. Let me come over here real quick. Sorry about that, guys. That was my phone going off. Oh, that guy's down there. Let's get over here. There's a little bit more coal over here. Some gravel. We'll definitely check this out. Ooh, how far down does this go? I bet you somebody else dug this tunnel because it seems too perfect. Although if somebody else dug it, you think they would have put some lights down themselves, and it doesn't seem like they have. So maybe they didn't. It did sound like something just blew up behind me. Was that creeper, you? Creeper, baby, creeper. <laughs> it was creeping on me. Was said, it? No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna put I, torches down everywhere. I turn around and I punch it in the tank. Oh wow! Look how far down that goes. It's a good thing I'm not falling down there. I bet you can find some really good resources over there, though. So let's come back over here and mine some of this coal real quick. And the reason I need so much coal is uh, for one reason and one reason only. I am creating a lot of glass blocks for our house. And that requires coal and it requires sand. Holy crap. There goes my phone, guys. Dang. I should uh, definitely mute that next time. Although I do use it for a clock for a timer so I know how long the episodes are. So it's going to be a problem. I don't know. We'll have to look at that. Let's see what's down here. Uh, I've got an Enderman down there. Let's put some lights down here. Ooh, got some coal as well. We're definitely going to grab all of that. I go through this so quickly because, again, we're cooking food and we're doing coal. Now, what do you think of this server so far? Me? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, man. So far, my my uh, my initial 
reaction has been negative because of uh, what happened to us in the last episode. So yeah, for those I of mean, you, who that could be just me being uh, you know being way too sensitive, guys. We don't know the game. We don't know what the, I, I did what a, the etiquette of the game is. I so. did a little forward slash on the rules to see what the rules are, and nowhere does it mention anywhere that, that they can you, run you off if you're near their house. I mean, you know. Yeah, that seems kind of messed up, but it seems like favoritism to people who have probably uh, donated money to the server. And I can understand that it's a business if you're running the server and you want to make money at it, so you. Uh, so you're going to run off new customers who may donate even more? Exactly. So, that's, I mean, it's... <laughs> not a great business plan, guys. Yeah, it's one of those things, you know, it's, it's hard to balance that, you know. Like, you want to treat your your uh, loyal customers special because they are loyal and they have given you money in the past, and yet you don't want to run off new customers, and that's kind of what you're doing here. Uh, in our situation, we're not really new customers. We're new YouTubers uh, showing off your channel or showing off your server mm -hmm. and not in way, necessarily yeah. in a positive light because of that. Yep, that's, uh, I agree 100% with that. And Beelzebub here actually wanted to, to get rid of that episode because he thought it was a little negative, but then I was thinking, you know what, that's part of the game. If you log on to a server and you're instantly, you know, attacked or something like that and your your initial reaction is negative, well, then you should show that because that's part of what other people might go through as well when they join the server and, you know... They may decide, well, it may be perfect for you, but not for, for perfect for me for what I'm looking for in a game or, or a server. I know there's a lot of people out there who like uh, different mod servers and stuff like that. I kind of like just the traditional vanilla Minecraft and just going to town on it and just seeing what you can create. Now, a lot of the stuff we have uh, been doing lately has been reminiscent of the same thing, but that's mainly for the fact that we've never been able to finish it. You know, we've, we've started it several times. And every time we uh, we do, we end up having the server wiped on us or on starting... Dolphin Craft. We love you, Dolphin Craft, but man, you keep wiping the server, so we <laughs> we kind of got over it. What, which may be why uh, he does that, so it doesn't end up like this server, which is just so overcrowded with with houses. When you first start off, you end up spending like an hour. How long did we spend? It was like an hour and a half just looking for this one spot. Uh, I don't know, man. It was like. 20 or 30 minutes at least, I would say. Oh, I thought it was longer than that, but yeah, it's... If you got to spend that long to look for a spot just to just to get away from the houses, that wasn't even just like, okay, let's find the right biodome. No, this was just to look for, how, for a, a plot of land that wasn't already claimed that we could actually dig up and put blocks down. You know, I can understand both sides to that. Like, you do want the, the server to have a community where they can come back and build on their house. That's exactly what we're looking for. But at the same token, you definitely want to have it easy for new customers to just jump in as well. So maybe change the spawn point every so often to spawn you further and further away from the town where m most people have their houses built. That way new people who are coming in are, you know, confused or whatever may be the case. Again, my phone is going off like crazy. That is a nasty looking spider crawling across my arm. What, in real life? Mm-hmm. Uh, that's not a good sign. Uh, he's a wolf spider. He's harmless. A wolf spider? He's, yeah, he's just ugly. Yeah, they, they live indoors. They crawl. They they crawl. They don't build webs. They're just, uh, I don't know. They're, they're kind of cute, actually. Kind of cute wolf spider. Yeah, they're around, around where I live, they get, they get, you can see them as big as a half dollar. This one's a small one, though. He's a small guy. You know, I may have bugged the game because ever since I've eaten the uh, three zombie flesh, my uh, life and my uh, health haven't gone down at all. And everybody has been telling me never to eat zombie flesh. I don't know what the deal about eating zombie flesh is. I've done it several times in other Let's Plays on uh, Minecraft, and I've never seen anything negative. So I don't know if it's just some of the time or all of the time, but uh, for me, it's perfectly fine to do that. Uh, it feeds me early on in the game when I have no food whatsoever and it does take a little while to get food in this game because for you like you were saying everything's already camped right like all the creatures are already taken yeah I mean well some of them I've killed a few uh, cows and a couple of pigs but uh, the rest of the stuff I mean literally it's like it's been claimed I mean uh, I don't know if it's because it's their own the person's property at the time but I don't know I'm, I'm starting to get the impression that this uh, server may be a little bit too overcrowded for me. It might be. I mean, we just wanted to give it a try and see what we thought of it. And like, it's, like you said earlier, we may need a guide to kind of show us around and show us a good spot to go hang out. And 
Because if we can find a really good spot that's really far away from everybody else, uh, where plenty of room to kind of grow and we don't have to worry about kind of ticking other people off and getting the zap back out to the zone entrance because of it, I think with that, we wouldn't have a problem with this. And the fact that it lasts so that every week when we come back to play, it's still here, that would be ideal, I think. And maybe there is an etiquette to the game that we don't know about. Maybe we were being too hard on the guy. Maybe maybe it's not cool for people to, um, you know, to dig resources near the home that you've built and stuff like that. I mean, I don't see why that would be a problem. I don't think I would mind. But maybe, you know, maybe there is some kind of unspoken etiquette that me and me and AC don't know about. And if there is, guys, we'll gladly change our tune. We just need to know. Well, that's why I was saying uh, the dude could have just sent us a, a message saying, hey, don't dig here or whatever. Because I'm sure on any server, no matter how old it is, you're going to find new players who are just joining and that don't know the etiquette. And, you know, like with EverQuest uh, Old School, when I do those videos, when there's somebody uh, at a, a newbie zone or even at a higher level zone kind of doing something they're not supposed to, I'll send them a message. I won't just assume that they're jerks. You know, yeah, I'll be I like, mean, maybe I'll you don't educate know. Educate them. Educate them. That's what that's what we need. We need a little bit of edu education. Right. You know, education. If uh, that's yeah. uh, even the case, I mean, we may have been perfectly in the right, and that was, that guy was just being a yeah. Jerk. That's that's what I think. I mean, but the guy ran us off because he didn't want us to, to take his trees that will Maybe. grow back if you plant them. <laughs> that's just uh, that sounds a little messed up to me, guys. I don't know about you. I don't know if that's why he drove us off or not. They didn't tell us. They just said that the other guy complained about us being there. Yeah, but near his house. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, maybe he, uh, maybe maybe he's very sensitive. Who knows? But either way, uh, it's done with. So we're over here, and we're having a pretty good time now. Oh, we yeah. haven't run into anybody yet. We don't know how to, you know, claim a spot of land so that when we come back, it's still going to be here. So we may not be here on this on the next few episodes or not. We're going to try out a few different servers. I, I know there's supposed to be a mo uh, a modded uh, server that has Mario Karts on it. Like a Mario Kart theme kind of that thing. That sounds like a lot of fun. Right? So I definitely want to try that out. Maybe a few of you guys who are watching who play Minecraft will want to join us. We can do some races together or something like that. Let me know. Leave comments down below. I think that would be pretty cool to do some races. Or, uh, you know, if you guys have a server of your own. Yeah, you just an unpopulated server, guys. Some, some, somewhere where we can have a, a nice big swath of land where we can have fun. I mean, that's all we're looking to do is... Let's have some fun, and we're not trying to step on anybody's toes or anything like that. We just want to build a castle in the top of the trees. That's all we want. Just build a castle in the top of the trees. And we will be uh, still doing the episodes with uh, Luminary Zion and uh, Dewey, but that's during the weekend, and on those weekends where I can't make it, uh, me and uh, Beelzebub shoot some videos here uh, during the yeah, rest of the week. Vanilla. Just vanilla, straight up vanilla. Yeah. I am the Hulk, though, which is really cool, guys. I am the Hulk. Yeah, and uh, Luminary found that for you, so that was pretty cool. That was very cool of her. Thank you, Luminary. And I if think we're gonna watching. we're gonna go ahead and end the episode here, guys. I know we didn't really get to a whole lot. We just kind of wanted to show off the server. We did find some uh, some iron down here. Nice. Let's go Ooh, ahead and get very that. Good. Iron pickaxe. A little bit more here, actually. Let's keep going here. See if we can yeah, find some stuff. more. Nah, only two blocks. I guess that's better than nothing. Hopefully, uh, oh, got a little bit more in here. Yep. Going down, yes, give me some more. You guys are probably watching, like, oh, come on, iron, you're getting excited about that. <laughs> yes, when, we're getting excited about that. Yeah, when you first start off the level, anything's better than this stupid stone uh, pickaxe that takes forever to chop anything down. And with iron, at least when you find some of the more valuable resources, you can at least destroy it. With uh, stone, you can destroy it, but you can't actually uh, mine it. You just lose that resource. So, iron's a big step in the right direction. And the earlier you can find it, the better off you are. So we just found ourselves a little bit right here. I guess that's going to be the end of it right there. We didn't see any more. Something just blew up. Did you kill another creeper? Uh, yeah, I killed a creeper. Just don't destroy him over I'm my getting, little glass. Yeah, I'm getting really good at killing them uh, uh, in a way where they blow up where I want them to. Because you can just knock them around. And if you walk if you walk back far enough, they, they stop blowing up. So you can basically direct it and make it blow up like a tree. Or uh, some blocks or something like that near you, so it's, it's kind of fun. But again, guys, we want to thank you for watching. Again, if you like these episodes, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe. Definitely helps grow the channel. We greatly appreciate it. And again, leave those comments down below because I want to know what you think of the server. I want to know what you think of the time that we've had on it. Uh, if we were in the right or in the wrong on the the stuff, we'll go ahead and apologize for it if we are. Again, guys, thanks for watching, and we will catch you next time. Subscribe. <laughs>